You can get the biggest Chanel back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drill, they set it up, I got them on it. I bought a new paddock, I had the one, so I took the What's going on everyone? It's your girl Lily Annette and today I'm back again with another video. This time around I wanted to share with you guys my fall skincare routine. My fall skincare routine or just my skincare routines in general for me are very important. I'm more of a skincare girl. I don't wear makeup every single day and even when I do wear makeup now I want it, I'm trying as much as possible to tone it down just because I like how I look without makeup. If I really want to do something I might put a little one to lash but and some lip gloss but in all honesty I really don't like makeup a big part of my skincare routine is exfoliation I like to exfoliate my skin and typically I like to use brushes I recently just got this oh child. I recently got this one right here it's by eco I think it's like eco tools or something like that so I've already cleansed my skin but typically what I would like to do um is yeah just I apply my cleanser here. Good old handy dandy cleanser. This is a tea tree oil cleanser that I get off of Amazon. After I finish cleansing, this is like the key to like um, me being able to have like really good skincare. Okay. If you're struggling with like hyperpigmentation and like flare ups of the skin, irritation of the skin, I'm giving you the major keys right now, and I don't think anybody's really done that. I don't. I don't think they have. So like, I'm different. I stand out. After I finish cleansing my face, after I come out of the shower, I love to go in with my sunscreen. Sunscreen is the major key to being able to prevent further hyperpigmentation. They lied to specifically the black population when they told us that we do not need sunscreen because we have melanin. Don't think that because you're black, you don't need sunscreen. Baby, you need sunscreen. I like to use it even before I apply makeup because it does have hyaluronic acid. Another holy grail of mine, which is this product. You see this right here? This is everything. This is a skincare essential. PFB ain't no joke. If you have like any acne flare up, any form of irritation, hyperpigmentation whatsoever, slap this mug right on it. Add this to your skincare routine and tell me it doesn't tell me it doesn't change your life. If you haven't added you haven't added PFD, PFB to like your feminine hygiene routine or your just skincare routine in general, I'm here to tell you you need to add it, okay? Because it's going to change the game. It's gonna make the appearance of your skin just mwah, chef's kiss. Being that it is fall, I do like to take it a step further. And what I like to do is I like to use the ordinary rose hip seed oil on my face to further lock in moisture. Why? Because I have dry skin. You know? And I'm just gonna pat it into my face. I'm not gonna rub it because I just applied the PFB. After I'm done with that, I like to go into my lips and I will exfoliate my lips. And I'll just use my lip gel. You can get this at your local booty supply. You can get this at your local beauty supply store. You do not. I mean, if you really want, to, if you really want, to, you can go to like CVS and Target, but. Beauty Supply Store got it for like what? 99 cents? And it works wonders. I'm gonna clean up the excess. We're almost done. Another big part of skincare routine, regardless of whether I'm at home um, chilling or I'm going out, is fragrance. I love your fragrance for my skincare routine. Because you put your fragrance on your skin, duh. I recently got the exotic mimosa uh, by Zara, and this is like really good. Like, it's like so. I mean, I can like I'm just in love. I just really, really, really love. Like I love a good scent. I love to smell good. Um, it makes me happy because then even when I'm like moving around during the day and I like I just catch a quick like smell of my like a quick sniff. I'm like, oh, it's me. Oh my god, damn. Like I smell good. Like this spray. I don't even know what this area is called, but we spray it right here, okay? I work it in because you want to heat it up so you can really get the scent. Oh, this exotic mimosa is so good, y'all. And then I work it in there too. That's amazing. This is phenomenal for like your partner so that they can smell it too. You know, they can enjoy it as well. 
when it comes to skincare my fall skincare routine y'all that is pretty much it i really don't do too much skincare wise uh, we've come a long way before i used to use a whole lot of products but then i realized we don't need to be doing all of that okay to achieve healthy skin it's all about finding out what works for you you know you don't need a whole lot um but also be willing if you haven't really found what works for you be willing to test things out because that's another thing with skincare and just the body in general is all about testing because we don't necessarily know everything that's going to work for us but another thing i will say is sometimes ask your parents because what works for my mom works for me and i have dry skin and she has oily skin it's very important that we figure out what is working for other people in our family and then see if that's to help if, that, if that's causing them to thrive okay maybe that's gonna help us as well because i think sometimes that goes over our heads that wait this is all genetics yeah that is pretty much it you guys i am hopeful that this helps you to be able to like figure out how to make take your skin basically take your skin from here to here because that's the goal i'll see you guys in the next video bye